Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Gaming PC Starting at number 5 Alienware Aurora R15 When I was a whelp I used to hanker after Alienware PCs and laptops, but as I've gotten older, so Alienware has changed. It's become more and more like its corporate Dell overlord, and far less tantalizing a prospect. My biggest issue is the use of proprietary components, which would be fine if they were the finest and beyond reproach, but you will find other equivalently priced builds with superior motherboards and power supplies that you can also upgrade in the future. And price is definitely an issue, too, with the Alienware Premium not really buying you anything tangible for the extra. I will reiterate my mantra, never buy a full price Alienware, because they only become worthwhile with a hefty discount. Alienware is one of the biggest names in gaming PCs, with a heritage stretching back to the dawn of time. Well, 1996 anyway. With a penchant for stylish designs and high-performance hardware it cemented its place in the burgeoning sphere of gaming-focused PCs. In 2006 it was bought wholesale by corporate PC giant, Dell, and that helped bring an economy of scale to the brand that previously it didn't have access to. Coming at number 4. Corsair Vengeance i7400. The Vengeance gaming PCs combine rock-solid build quality with high-end component choice, and ultimately a decent price for an RTX 4090 system. That's obviously the star of this system, sporting more video memory than you can shake a pair of RTX 3080s at, and a monstrous slice of GPU silicon at its heart that can tear through games at 4K and render scenes like a pro graphics card. It's also arguably the only RTX 40 series GPU that actually feels like a proper generational upgrade over the previous generation. Where Corsair's Vengeance machines stand out is in the fact it can build around the core components with its own supporting cast of kit. From memory to SSD to cooling and chassis, Corsair makes some of the best kit around, and putting it all together in one quiet, cool, and stylish package is where its systems shine. At number 3. Lenovo Legion Tower 7i. Lenovo is one of the biggest brands in PCs, and its Legion line of gaming laptops and desktops has been getting better and better over the years. We've fallen in love with its next-gen gaming notebooks, and this desktop machine is excellent value, too. Our experience of Lenovo gaming PCs has always been that they are well-made and reliable, though maybe not the absolute best bang for buck. Not with this excellent RTX 4080 powered machine, however, because this thing is a beast. The GPU is serious, but so is the 24 thread Raptor Lake Core i7 CPU and the 16 GB DDR5-5600. The only thing that really upsets us about the Legion Tower is the absolutely miserly 512 GB SSD. That's ludicrous in today's market, but then 1TB and 2TB SSDs are so cheap now it's not so onerous an upgrade when you do fill it up. Number 2 of my list. ABS Flux Ruby. The Advanced Battle Stations moniker might be a little on the nose, but the ABS gaming PCs are essentially now Newegg's own gaming PC range, and deliver great value machines that are really well put together. They're not the most exciting at all, but in our experience are well built and deliver the performance and components you want at a generally impressive price point. The one-year parts and labor warranty is a touch miserly, but what you would expect around the budget arena. When you're looking for a gaming PC under $1,000 then it's all about the spec and the price, regardless of who or where it's from. Well, within reason. So long as the company you're purchasing from has actually successfully sold gaming PCs before, and doesn't have a host of poor reviews, you just want to make sure you're getting the parts you would hope for at this price point. And number 1. Skytet Kronos. We've spent a good while testing Skytet gaming PCs and they've been well put together, shipped in good working order, all the way across the Atlantic, even, with effective cable tidying, too. And where we've not always been impressed with the component choice for the money, 
this current RTX 4070T toting Kronos machine represents excellent value. At this price we've seen a lot of RTX 4070 systems, offering RTX 3080 levels of gaming performance. The 12GB RTX 4070T, however, can deliver RTX 3090 frame rates. The 12-core, 20-thread Intel Core i7 chip is a great processor, and the supporting cast of 1TB SSD and 16GB of memory is what you'd expect at this price, even if we wish system builders would take advantage of just how cheap SSDs are now and give us more storage. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.